What's up Markerheads? It's Karen from Art by Karen E. Haley and in today's video I'm going to be starting the documentation process of the purge. I'm not getting rid of everything in here, especially not well, booties um, or my, my paints, but I will be emptying this shelf out at least in this episode. Oh look, you can see my bee stung hand. Um, I don't really feel like moving a lot of stuff today and I will not, um, I will not be moving heavy stuff at all because I am pregnant and I know people are gonna be like you shouldn't do that you're going to you're, something's gonna happen <laughs> but um, I know that that is you know something people worry about and I don't want anyone to worry about me I'm gonna have my husband do all of the heavy lifting but I'm gonna be emptying out all of these little cubes and taking this white shelf to my son's room or at least my husband will be moving it in there and then that'll be a big section of this desk cleared off. A lot of these have been emptied out and these little drawer, these little photo boxes, I'm either gonna take stuff out of there and put them in empty photo boxes or take the photo boxes and put the contents in these drawers and put these in my white cabinet. I'm not sure exactly what I'll do yet. I prefer using the photo boxes for my supplies because I have a lot of tall things or like thicker things than those drawers. But time will tell. It just depends on how many cabinets I get and if I have one or two or if I have a narrow one or one wide one. We'll see. We will see. Uh, <laughs> if you want to support my um, change here and help me out, uh, I do have a red bubble and I'll link that in the description below. And I'm going to get into the time lapse and I'll talk a little bit more about I don't know, kind of my thoughts on this whole deal because it is a big change and I do have a little bit of mixed feelings about it but mostly I'm just really excited because I'm gonna have a baby and I'm gonna be, you know, going through that that journey with a new child and it's gonna be a lot of fun to watch them grow just like my son has and, you know, also I'm gonna be clearing out the the extra baggage <laughs> in terms of extra craft stuff and extra just random things that I've kind of hoarded over the years. So I'll tell you more about what I got rid of as I do the time lapse because it's obvious that I've already started this process but I didn't start filming until now. So I'll tell you more about what I got rid of. Before I get started I'm gonna eat some dinner. I have a really sore throat. Everyone in my house has been kind of sick and I'm starting to get it. So uh, I'm having chicken top ramen with leftover halibut. My dad caught a halibut so uh, I cooked it in like a parmesan crust, kind of like chicken cordon bleu but with just parmesan crust and uh, it's really good. But I wanted to have it in some soup because I need some liquid. My hand and my arm have gotten so swollen and red. Whew. It itches so bad. Last night I got stung by a bee. My husband left a coffee cup outside and I went and picked it up. And apparently there was a yellow jacket inside drinking his coffee and it stung me four different spots but mostly one spot right here. Uh, it is so itchy. I just I haven't been touching it. I've, I've held up a glass of ice water against my wrist earlier and the swelling has swelling has gone down some. I took some Benadryl earlier, but ugh, it hurts. But anyway, I'm going to start this.
I'm having a dilemma here. Now this is the box all my miniatures will be going into. And I thought that these would fit laying across on the top, but unfortunately they don't quite fit. Uh, I mean, I could kind of bend the box lid if I had to, or I could take these and put them in a different way. But the reason I want these in the miniatures box is because they are uh, the displays I would put my miniature cakes on when I went to miniature fairs and sell my tiny cakes. I want to save these because I don't intend to... First of all, I don't intend to quit making miniature stuff. That's why I'm putting it in storage. But I also don't um, know what to do with it in the meantime if I can't fit it in this box. Uh, my grandpa and my dad kind of worked together to make this. And here's the other part of it. Oh, it's stuck. So, this is the base, which wouldn't fit in this box, I don't think. I'm like, oh, it looks, actually, it looks like it would. So this is the base. Might have it. No, I have it the right way up. And it has these heavier pieces on this side, and then a lighter piece on this side to counterbalance it. And these are candle holders that my grandpa and my grandma found at Goodwill. And they pop into these little these little drilled out holes. But I have to find the ones that go the right way. My door is blowing around in the wind. So I want to keep this because it was really useful when I did my miniatures. I'm trying to give you an idea of what it looked like. Uh, but I'm not sure what to do with it. So I'm going to have to set this in the figure it out later pile. So I did manage to get this emptied out, which was my goal for the evening. But I have a lot of energy left and my bee sting's not bothering me too bad, even though it's swelling up. Um, but... Whether I have it or not, I gotta get this done. So, I am done emptying this out, and I think the next thing I want to do is organize the things I plan to keep, because I have a whole bunch of stuff over here. Let me turn you, let me turn you over here. Bloop. You see? Down there. All that stuff. Most of this I want to keep. Uh, and so what I've been doing is just putting the markers and things I plan on keeping in these cases already in here. This isn't going to be, this isn't going to be permanent. Am I, am I in frame here? Over here. Yeah, I'm over here. Um, but, you know, it's really not a huge amount of art supplies, it's just figuring out where to put it in the meantime, you know? So, yeah, I gotta keep working on this, and I think this is what I'm gonna focus on next. Um, other than that, what I could do is down around here, come on down here, over here, oh, yeah, yeah, right there, okay. I wanna take these things, these are all miniatures, and calico critter stuff, a ton of calico critters. This whole box is mostly calico critter furniture or, furniture or dollhouse furniture. It's so cute. So what I want to do with this is consolidate it. Come here. Come over here. Oh, but you want to stand. I want to put all of that in this box. So I'm going to get this and this little cake stand, which is just another candle holder, and take these out of here. These came in really handy when I did miniature fairs, which is the closest I've ever done to a convention. Uh, I've always wanted to do an art convention, but I let my other hobbies distract me. So what I need to do is focus on my main hobby. So 
that's my kind of my goals here is to pare it down to my main my main passion and my what I feel like I'm meant to do um, and also just to kind of consolidate just because the baby's on its way so right now I want to get this box out of the way but I feel like I ought to just fill it up so I'll do <laughs> the wind blew my door shut I ought to do this first just to have it out of my way so that's what I'm gonna do next All right, here's the look of the end of that progress. <laughs> I will possibly keep working on this tonight. It's only nine o'clock and I typically go to bed around midnight and wake up 
8 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, I think I'm going to keep going, but I'm going to take a little break. And I think I will end this video here, and in the next one you'll see a lot more things. <laughs> I'm going to clear out everything underneath this table that this dollhouse is sitting on. Um, some of it is going to be gotten rid of. A lot of it's uh, American Girl stuff because I have a Kirsten doll and I have a lot of her th her um, accessories and I hung on to those because in case I have a girl I wanted to give them on to her so I want to move those back into the chest that I used to keep them in when I was a kid. I think it'll all fit in there and it's gonna be a lot more compact and just look a lot nicer and I think that's it um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that it's been a long time since I've done any art, but right now it's obviously kind of um, going to be kind of hard for me to do any art until I get everything moved around. So I moved all of that stuff out of there and I put the things I want to um, go through and see what I want to keep right here on this desk and on this one as well. And, uh, yeah, we'll just figure it out as it goes. I currently can't afford to buy those white shelves, so, um, hopefully I'll be able to do that in the near future, <laughs> at least before the baby's born. Uh, I don't want to be caught in limbo for too, too long, so, um, here in about a week or so I'm going to put my originals back up for sale. I found them all up in that box, and... Uh, anything that I sell will go towards my white cabinets, which I desperately will need in order to um, complete my my transition to my smaller, more compact and efficient workspace. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I'm sorry if I'm rambly. I'm still getting back into the swing of videos. So thanks for watching, you guys, and I will see you in the next one.